Speaker Ryan's office has said that they consulted you before they asked uh, the chaplain to resign earlier this week. Did they reach out to you about that? And, and I said no. <laughs> yeah, no, they said that's what they wanted to do. I said I disagreed and I didn't think they should. I thought it had gone away for a while when the speaker said he was leaving, but then it, it, it reared its head again. I think it's a bewildering decision. Uh, the uh, chaplain has served us very well. He's brought dignity and grace to his uh, role as a House chaplain. I think it's important to note that uh, the House chaplain is an elected officer of the Con House of Representatives. No one can fire him except by an act of Congress. Uh, the Speaker didn't fire him, but he forced him out. I think it was wrong. And is there something he should do to remedy that? You have to ask him because you, I don't even I don't even know what the justification I know what the speaker has said but I don't think it amounts to any justification for firing uh, uh, and, and and especially we only have a few months to go before everybody's term is up the speakers the chaplains all of us so why now why now I think that that Mr. Crowley asking for the inquiry is the appropriate thing to do because when a speaker fires well, forces out a chaplain, people say, why? And I think we all say, why, why did you do this, Mr. Speaker? Uh, uh, there's no, that, anything I've heard from him that would justify doing that.